The biggest thing I think to tell anybody is when you're calling in, whether it's for an emergency or just a parts order that you don't need right away or maybe to check on an order that's going to ship, the more information that you have when you call or email, um, the better it is and the more efficient it would be for us to get answers. If you have email and it's not an urgent thing, you know, email us as opposed to call us. Um, I agree true. with that too. I um, Emails are true. just a lot easier to respond to. And plus, it gives you that time. So if someone calls you and they say, I need so-and-so or when is so-and-so going to ship? Well, while I'm on the phone, I have to look things up. And if you send me an email, okay, you're not sitting there waiting for me to look things up. I'm looking right. at uh, inventory and can find out the answer and then email you back. And I reply to every email that I get during the day. I do not go home without replying to an email that I get. That Unless it comes in at five, after five, and I left right at five that day, then that another, they might be a difference. That, but we I do, think we all do that. I think another, we all try to reply yeah. to an email so that and you do And another good thing about email is that, um, as opposed to a phone conversation, is that you have, nothing's going to get lost in the translation. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a, a, a document or details that you can refer back to. Um, and I don't mean for purposes of who did what or who said what. I'm not saying that. I'm saying to solve the problem so that you don't miss any intricate little details of, of what it is that they're trying to accomplish in their task or what problem it is that they're right. trying to solve. Right. Um, and again, if it's not urgent, email works better not only for us but for the customer as well. What I mean by that is that if they're e emailing us their non-urgent requests and, and, and um, things that they need to get accomplished, then that's reserving our phone time for the people that are that do have urgent needs. In that, an that, emergency. Right, yes. right, as opposed to, um, you know, tying up that time with a, you know, how do I set up an on-air light, you know, right, as opposed right. to somebody that's got an output module that's down that's trying to get back on the air, you mm -hmm. know, and then and, and someday you're going to be that guy, you know, <laughs> that's got the output module and, and not just trying to set up your on-air light. So right. reserve that time, you know, right. save the calls for when they're needed and email us if you can. And you but that is why we do have one tech support email because it goes to all four of us. All four of you in tech support and there's one sales email that goes to everybody in sales and so in that way if you send an email to one person well if that person's at lunch and it's urgent right. or if that person's on vacation it's not that only person that's going to get it so we right. always or I always tell people send it to the tech support email yeah, and that absolutely. way there's four of you that get it and then you know, it, it gets taken care of and it's not missed or if someone's on vacation. Right. And that's why we have the, both of those for both sales and tech support. Right. So there's a backup there. Mm -hmm.